Hello there everybody and welcome back to 999 So I, I wanted to apologize for a second It's gonna be really quick uh, I've been away uh, In Barcelona actually for Easter And when I came back I got a bit sick And I started playing in a Persona 5 which didn't help so I didn't record you know I got lazy as well so sorry about that I, I left you guys at a cliffhanger uh, so last time number nine here uh, when it looks like he didn't want a code name so he just grabbed a knife and pulled uh, Clover I think her name was and put a knife knife to her neck so really bad stuff so let's let's get on with it shall we if you get any closer Fucking nerds. I'll cut her open. Jesus Christ, man. Chill out. Uh, yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. Oh, this is uh, getting very rapey. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Oh, shit. Number nine, man. Chill out. Here, verify. Verify what? <laughs> the left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? What if I don't? You're fucking crazy, man. Just do it. Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. Yeah, but the knife is, uh, you know. Look at, yeah, he doesn't, he isn't holding the knife right. I'm sorry. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. Just do it! Do it now! Uh, okay. Do it now! Do it. Get to the chopper! I have a... I do a terrible uh, Schwarzenegger uh, impersonation. So, sorry about that. <laughs> like this? So she put the hand on... So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. Nice. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Hmm. So that's, that's how it works. Door 5. So I need to find the di digital root of 5 to go through it. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Maybe he's zero. Good. Good. You're done. Next? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. So... Nine, four, and one. <laughs> Equals. What are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Five, so... Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. Shit is getting tense. All right, this is what you wanted, right? So he puts his hand there. Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers, 4 and 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. It's the same as the number written on the door. But it won't open yet. Only 3 to 5 people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! 
farther, more than that. Go all the way back. Dude, okay. this is fucking crazy, man. Uh, wait, uh, don't tell me. Clover's four and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine, four plus one plus nine is fourteen, and the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. In other words. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna go by himself through the door. Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Fucking insane dude, right? Good! I don't need you anymore! <laughs> Wait! Shit, what is he gonna do? He's gonna Here. slice her throat. She's all yours! Ah, uh, looks like he <laughs> wouldn't. Peace out, bruh. Okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! So he got through. What happened? Bastard! Why the fuck are they moaning? Are uh, they trying to open the door? Probably. Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Hmm. Like, what? Like some sort of beeping. Yeah, I heard it before, but not now. You're right. I can hear it too. Oh yeah, I can hear it. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! So the other dude is. You, you lied. Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen. This is wrong. What the fuck is going on there, man? This is wrong. What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Why? What Why the fuck is work? behind that door, man? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left! Is that a bomb or what the fuck is going on? Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! Who? Zero? It was him! He killed me! It was him! <laughs> what the fuck is he on about, man? What the f- did he shoot him? Uh, uh, I mean, a beep and a boom. That sounded like a bomb to a me, beep? I mean. Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. So vacant? <laughs> Let's see if we can open it. What the fuck does that mean? Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. So we need two people. What to do? Uh, Ace and Lotus, Snake and Seven. Uh, Santa and June. June's a girl. Santa is a scrawny little dude. I'm gonna get Seven because uh. His big and whatever the fuck is inside there. Snake, Seven, you think you could give me a hand here? You know, whatever. I mean, the guy could be hiding for all I know. You know, Seven is a big dude. He could fucking mm -hmm. kill him. <sighs> Five plus two plus seven equals 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four equals five. This nice. should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. It's good you guys that ready? I'm gonna open it. The game just gives you the options, you know. 
so that I don't have to <laughs> use my calculator. So let's open and see what the fuck happened in there. What the fuck is oh that behind God. the doors? Blood. Good God. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He, he blew up. Shit. <laughs> Fucking hell, he blew up, man. Uh, June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I mean, if I saw a guy that blew up, I would be uh, feel bad myself as well, right? All right, okay. Uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are, are you all right? Why? <laughs> Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Jesus, man. Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? Sorry. What the fuck is going on, man? Who the fuck lied to that dude? Shit is going insane here. So, we've been here for it's an hour. Then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Yeah, so we should get the fuck out of here as soon fuck! as possible. I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up. Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Mm. Him? You mean the ninth man? Yeah, mighty number nine. Of course. Who else? Blood. Oh. Yeah, so if you go through the door, you blow out. What the fuck is Blood the point? Pieces of flesh. Mmm. That's no way for a person to die. Makes me want to have a bolognese, you know. <laughs> oh, dumb. I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. Or maybe... I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. Yeah, maybe everyone that put their hands on the door, needed to go through the door, or else <laughs> bomb was gonna go off, or something like that. What's so goddamn funny? I don't know, man. Oh, Maybe my apologies. High. You were just uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... <sighs> All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? Three to five. He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Yeah, that's right? what I thought. And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? They must contribute. <sighs> Something like that, right? Zero said that everyone who verified had to go through. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Yeah, but what the fuck did... The I ninth mean... man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere. Making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? 
Yeah. Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. How the fuck do you know so much, dude? What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? Mm, you're not gonna try and say you're a lawyer or something, right? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? What the fuck is on the card, man? The Joker. <laughs> I see. This is Braille. Braille. You know the... Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. So you just found it. From Zero? Right. A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> so Bracelet number two. So you're blind. What the fuck is going on Since here? Since you are not blessed with sight. Studio is blind. Oh yeah, I think he said that last time, right? I shall bless you and only you it's with information. It's been a week, sorry. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the day to stop the detonator in your bracelet. Ah, uh, so there is a bomb in the bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. Shit, huh? You swallowed it while you were unconscious. I have no doubt, by the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. So let's take a dump. <laughs> In other words, you will be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. So that's why the fucker uh, blew up, because there is a bomb inside of him. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a bit near. Think of it as a remote fuse, or timer, for God in your body. There is only one condition which will cause it to detonate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. 81. Oh yeah, 9, of course. If, after my time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the bread must also verify their numbers at the dead. Oh, so that's what it, what happened, so he... Uh, three people put the hand uh, on the red, but only one tried to deactivate inside the door. So that's why he blew up. Once all numbers have been verified by the bed, you need only pull the lever on its side, and the countdown will see anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you can pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. Nice. You must also keep in mind 
that the number of doors will close automatically after nine seconds have passed. So long as the door is open, the day will not function. You will do well to remember this. Lastly, we have discussed how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Mm. Two, for Hartley, which is zero. Good to know. All right. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the exit of Mary's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable it at near, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. Mm, so that's why he didn't say anything. I wish you the best of luck. I mean, uh, we're all so happy to see that fucker go, right? I can Only weirdo. those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Yeah, we get it. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. Mm -hmm. The Reds, Deads, and Bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. What the fuck? Shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Come out, damn it! <laughs> They're trying to puke. There's a bomb inside me. Oh, what made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? Well, it's very entertaining, let me tell you. All right, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Mm, not really, bro. Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Yeah, that's what happened to us as well. Come on, guys, give me something. <coughs> Sorry. You know, like surprise or something. I saw that too. So everyone saw the same thing. I right? did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? What's well, so a Seven? He didn't say anything, right? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, yeah, a bit shady. that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Oh, really? You don't, don't look alike at all. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That really so hard oh, to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Yeah, sh you don't look alike at all, bro. Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Oh yeah, Junpei and... Those two, Jun. for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey. You think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell? What do you mean? Ring a bell? Well, 
Perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone needs to be loaded to build all well, this fucking thing here. Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. They must be, yeah. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Yeah, but... Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group? Yeah, it might be a research group. Perhaps yeah. this is all some sort of psychological experiment. Yeah, but if someone died, that's fucking weird. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! Exactly. I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. Yeah. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? No. We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be alright. Yeah, how do you know, man? You know a, lot, a whole lot more than... But... You're saying. But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. And there are eight. All eight of here. us can't go in the same door. So it can go four, four, five, three. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait, I'm telling you now. There is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. Lady, you got some attitude, right? If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man. I just bought these shoes. <laughs> Do you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him? You got another thing coming. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Yeah. Oh, God. Fine. I'll go into door five. Yeah, this dude is... I like him. Even though he's fucking shady sometimes. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? He looks like a blue-collar guy. I don't think he's, he's zero. I mean... He doesn't look like he has the money to do all this this thing here. I'll go. But this guy, is, uh, he looks too wealthy, you know. But what? Don't worry, you'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. Yeah, how the fuck do you know? This guy knows too much, man. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and Snake is two. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital route will be five. 7 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 14. The digital root of 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door 5. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root going to be? Yeah, 
Why don't you get the fuck out of there? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. Mm. Oh, let me have a look here. So this is the flow chart and here's where it splits up. So I'm guessing there's a choice here. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our digital root be? 8 plus 3, uh, 11, 2, 8, 13, 4. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So... Yeah, the, he, he did like 22, but I, I went all the numbers and for a different way, but same digital result. 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked so out well. me, this guy, June, and Lotus. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of yeah. course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent? And go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I. Which door? So. We need to decide here. And we need to stop this video for now. I mean, uh, it's... Yeah, I don't want to take June through door number 5, but it would be great to examine the body and see what the fuck... Uh, like... I mean, the, the game is trying to get me to go through door number 4. But door number... F you know, sometimes the game lies to you, right? So, might be a good idea to go through here. So, this is a big choice, alright? So, can we actually save here? No, we can't! That's fucked up. So... What do I do? I need to do something, I think. I'm gonna choose door number... Let's go through door number... Oh man. Let's go number four. Hey, wait. And let's save it right here and say goodbye. Alright. So I'll see you guys next time. And we'll go through door number five. Cause that's crazy. Uh but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you meet me here next time when I play 999 which will probably be pretty soon because I have a three day weekend coming up so I got enough time to record so thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you soon.